Okay guys, we've got the machine built, so uh, now we have to make some adjustments to the existing coils so we can get some useful volts. Now, first of all we have to remove the magneto. Use a, you can use a special little puller or you can use a hammer, strike the shaft and prise it off with a screwdriver. It will come away. Uh, those are the coils, you can see the, the wire there, so we remove that, remove the bolts and take that off. Um, off. Now we can look how many magnets and how, it, how it's laid out. Got eight magnets there, so we strip it all down, strip the wires, strip the connections, and we need to remove the existing copper coils. Yeah, it's a bit of a messy job, but you just undo them, and you note how how it's wound, the direction, and how the directions change. Um, so it's all uh, going to the magnet magnetism will flow and the wires in the same direction so yeah we just strip it down and then when it's uh, down to its bare insulated frame like that then we can start using the the thinner wire and we need to put more turns on because we're, the machine's going to be running slower so we put about 300 turns on each pole there and completed the assembly um, and then you just make the connection back up the way it, the way it was. Um, use some tape to secure it, and then you, you use some solder the the wires, the original wires with the plug on that, that you took off earlier, and there it is, ready to fit back. So we've got the machine spinning. Now it's not too high off the floor. Obviously, it'll be a lot higher when it's running. Um, we fit some LEDs, and then we've got a rectifier, bridge rectifier and we've got a capacitor there to smooth it smooth it out um, and we've got it running it's running pretty good uh, as I say not too high and we're getting sufficient volts to start looking at charging the battery so if you have any questions if you want any of the parts any help look at the website williamswintech.com or you can send me a message on here and uh, thanks for all your interest and thanks for all your comments